Hi everyone, welcome back to Xcoding with Alvian. This is the second episode of XCA Bytecast, which is a series of bite-sized tips and tricks that can be implemented into any of your project. In this episode, I'm going to show you on how to handle data race in your app. This happens when multiple threads read and update a property at the same time without proper synchronization, causing data corruption in the memory or the heap and which can lead to crashes in your application. We won't be focusing on race condition correctness, which is when the order of event affects the correctness of the program. This video will only focus on solving the data race crashes in an application. So let me show you the problem that we are going to solve. So here I have the starter project. You can download the starter project from the GitHub repository that I provided in the description below as well. And here is the starter project. As you can see in here, I have created a simulation for reproducing a data race by mutating an array from concurrent queue at the same time. And I have enabled thread sanitizer here from the scheme, if you see, from this run, diagnostic and thread sanitizer. So with this, we should be able to detect the sieve access race, as you can see in here. So these are very simple. Basically, when the app launch, I will just attach this app delegate using the UI application delegate adapter. And in the on appear, I just invoke this simulate concurrent write. As you can see, it initializes a dispatch queue with the concurrent attributes. It means this will run in parallel. Okay. And here there are several async call in parallel. They will mutate an array. Okay in parallel so this will basically simulate the data access rest so if you see when i try to run this right okay if you can see in here there are several message that is being logged to the console so here if you see there are so many safe access race and if you scroll there will be some kind of indicator that is showing in xcode meaning there is a access rest in our uh, in our application so this usually when it this happens in an real devices it can introduce cra crash especially when you have some kind of constraint in a memory or something else basically it can cause crash because of the corruption of the data okay so we need to handle this and solve this problem so let's begin by creating a new c file Let's give it a name, treat safe property wrapper. Okay, so we can solve this data rest access by making a treat safe property wrapper that use dispatch queue concurrent for reading and a barrier block for writing. So this will allow multiple reads to happen concurrently while ensuring exclusive access for writes. There are several performance trade off that we will need to know, but I will tell you after we created this, okay? So, property wrapper, macro, and then let's create a final class, and let's give it a name of thread safe, and this should be generic, okay? So we can use any value that we want to store the data in a thread safe way. And let's create a private var value t to store the value internally. And let's create a dispatch queue, private lib queue, dispatch queue. And for the label, give it any name that you want. I'm just going to give it a name of com.xca treat self property wrapper. And this is important. We want the attributes to be concurrent. Okay. And let's create an initializer that accept the value and then going to store it internally in the property value. And next, we need to create this computer property wrap value, which is used to get and set the value using this property writer. So for the get. This is the read operation basically. So for this, we are going to use Q 
q.sync to read the value which is safe because multiple reads can happen at the same time and we are using the concurrent attributes of the dispatch queue okay so this will increase the performance if you have many read access to the data and here we can simply invoke q.sync and just return the value self dot value and in the set this is the write operation so for the write operation we will use q.async passing the flags of dispatch queue barrier this is to ensure that write operation are exclusive and it will block other reads and writes until a write is completed so yeah this can be a performance threat of if our application this property is write heavy operation there are many writes but less read okay so that's one of the threat of that we need to consider when using this uh, mechanism so here we can simply invoke q.async and we need to pass flags of barrier so this is cause the work item to act as, as a barrier block when submitted to a concurrent queue so this will block other operation and in here this will just set the value inside this property with the new value okay and that's it this is very simple right now we have a thread safe uh, property wrapper that we can try in our application and it's very simple to use it's just we just need to declare this like this thread self and provide the initial value so this is the initial value okay and that's it we have our thread self property now now let's try to uh, this and see whether we have the safe access warning or not from the xcode thread sanitizer okay it runs and as you can see there is no warning regarding the access race because we already handled that using the dispatch queue barrier right so i ran this several times let me run this again three, three times and that's it we have implemented the thread staff uh, property using the gcd but before i close this there are several things that i want to mention regarding this some performance implication so for the read right for the read by allowing concurrent reads the overall contention on the queue is reduced this means that in a scenario where reads are dominant the performance of a read of thread synchronization is minimized so this is very good if you have many read operations but for write write operations are handled with a barrier so ensuring that writes are exclusive well this can cause some contention there are many write operations it generally it generally performs well when write are less frequent than reads okay and for the threat of for the read heavy workload scenario this is a very good to use significant performance improvement do the concurrent reads and for the extremely write heavy scanners there are other synchronization mechanism like locks or atomic operation which might more be suitable and provide more uh, performance and yeah for the balance of our workloads we between read and write generally it's a very good performance but the benefit depends on the relative frequency of reads and writes so those are the performance implication and threats of so just use this wisely in your app so for scenario like if there are many reads but maybe very very less write this is very good and it ensures thread safe operation there will be no crash when multiple threads try to read and write from this single uh, property okay and that's it for this short video of the xca bad guys part two and until the next one let's keep on buying and until the next one let's keep on being a lifelong learner like the video if you like subscribe if you haven't and thanks for supporting me goodbye